Hello again, System Restore UK for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be reviewing a monster, one of the vehicles that's come through on the Cunning Stunts DLC, known as the Vapid Desert Raid. So, in order to get the vehicle, usual scenario once again, and this time we're going to go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos, and there it is, second row, $695,000. Look at the size of this bad boy. It's fucking huge. Obviously, it's not going to be as big as the Brigade, but look at this thing. This thing is a proper animal. I imagine it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, I imagine it's going to be pretty tough. It, look, it looks fucking well weird, doesn't it? But let's uh, let's pick a livery very quickly. Um, and let's go and take it. Let's go and buy it first. And let's go and have a look at it. Let's get it delivered to the garage and have a walk around this animal. I mean, look at the fucking size of that. What the fucking hell are you going to do with that? Hey, you're not going to reverse park it. It's fucking huge. This is a proper, a proper desert vehicle. I'd imagine this is the sort of thing you'd be thrashing up and down sand dunes, just ragging the nuts out of it, not worrying about what you hit. There's virtually... Now, look at the size of the back end. There's virtually no bumper on the front of this thing at all, which means it's going to be nice hitting bumps and curbs and stuff. And chances are you're going to be able to go out the back of cars and all sorts of stuff. But it's a big boy. Um, how it's going to perform, we'll only find out in a minute. Let's take it over to Los Santos Customs and see what mate you can do with this thing. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Well, have a look at this fucker. <laughs> You got any parts for this thing in stock, dude? Look at the, the size of it. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Right, there's not many categories. Wow, 14. That's it. That's a little bit disappointing. So I'm presuming that you're not going to be able to do a huge amount with this. Okay, armor's 50 grand. Yeah, okay. So 50 grand for your armor. Brakes, how much are they stinging us this time? 29,750 for the race brakes, so we'll have those. Just for seeing as they're on offer. Okay. Engine, EMS upgrade level 4. Again, we've got a little bit of reduction on those at the moment, so we'll have them at just under 28.5. Explosives, that's pointless. Horn, <laughs> waste of time. Lights, okay. Those lights, look how weird they look. Okay, Zenon lights, 7.5 grand. So at least we're going to be able to see the things that we're going to be driving out the back of. Neon layouts, front, back and sides, as per usual. 30 grand. Okay, livery options. So we've got the Badger on there at the moment. And then the other one we've got is called Drone. Or oh, we can have none. That to me looks like a Tonka toy. Looks like a little kid's toy, that thing. I think it's going to have to have a livery. I'm not entirely sure which one's going to be the better one. I quite like the Drone one, actually. Should have picked that one initially, but it's difficult to tell when you're, uh, you're not sort of scouring over the car quite closely. 34,200 bucks to go back to being a well to, to put the uh, the drone livery onto it, or 11 and a half grand near enough to uh, rip all the stickers off. Okay, let's go for the drone. Okay, I think it's going to look better with a bit of paint on. Respray will come back to sell. No, lost the when we already own it. Okay, so suspension, so we've got lowered straight. Sport, competition, and race. That thing barely budged. Don't go ruining my work playing backseat twister. <laughs> that thing barely budged for four grand. Well, wow. okay. Street, sport, and race. Forty grand. You're gonna want to watch the clutch. Okay. And turbocharger. We're gonna need one of those because this thing looks like it needs as much all right, the power it's, it's gonna get. Okay, and the last option, wheels. Okay, interesting. Okay, no option to tint the windows. How odd. Okay, a bit disappointed with the, uh, the options on this thing. There isn't a lot you can do with it, uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. There's really not a lot of, thing, a lot of money. Uh, well, there's really not a lot you can do with this thing at all, in fact. But we're going to have a go, so let's see what we can do. Well, that's where we've gone. We've gone for a blue, kind of like a light blue, 
Um, paint job, obviously we've blued out the wheels as well, just make it a little bit different. Put a bit of sort of creamy pearl in the paintwork. Um, and then the top part on the roof, we've gone for a black rather than sort of colour coding it, just to make it, just to give it a sort of bit more colour. Bit disappointed in that. Had high hopes for this thing. This thing's an animal, but well, it looks like an animal, but not a lot you can do with it. Fucking hell, the turning step is ridiculous. That's really good. Wow, for, I tell you what, for a big motor, this thing's done off go. And it turns really well. You can hit stuff and it accelerates it just from a standing start. This thing really pulls away. Well, I'll tell you what, for a big vehicle, this thing does handle really well. It's, it kind of sticks, apart from there. <laughs> it really sticks and it's from a standing start, it doesn't have to accelerate. Not a massive sort of top end sort of speedy car, but yeah. Let's have a look around it again. I think the jury's out on this one. I'm not. Is this worth a purchase? I don't know the whether it is. You know, I mean, that's what was it? Seven hundred grand. By the time you chuck a load more stuff on it, I don't know. You're probably you're probably looking close to a mil, maybe nine hundred to a mil. Is it worth it? From a from a customization point of view, I would probably say no. But this is all going to it's, it's going to be. You're going to find out whether it's worth it when Rockstar decide to launch some more stunts um, because they may launch a series that this is, you know, may launch a, a playlist or a series that's going to benefit this type of car. But only time's going to tell. I would hold back personally. Uh, keep your money on this one. Still looks a cool car, but I would personally would keep your money until we find out what Rockstar are doing with these, uh, these coming stunt series. But there you have it. That was... The Vapid Desert Raid. This has been System Restore UK once again for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button, hit the sub button, and we'll see you again in the next video.